So how does one go about promoting the kind of culture that the organization needs or wants to have in order for it to succeed, in order for it to create that kind of situation uh, that we talked about in the prior uh, lectures where individuals know what they're supposed to do, they talk across their functions, they're not just part of their, their work group, but they're part of this larger organization, they're motivated to make that whole organization succeed. How do we go about building that kind of world, that kind of environment? Well, one thing is you, it has to do with who you bring in. You bring in people that are compatible with the culture you're trying to develop, the culture of innovation or the culture of execution or whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. And you want them to also have their own sense of values that you've brought in because you've vetted people to come in that way. You want them to be reinforced by the things that they see and hear that are artifacts of the organization, like a values code or an honor code, um, like a, a notes about what the mission is and, and how people behave and things like how you, um, the rules of the road, your ethical system or your values, you interact with respect and all of those sorts of things. But you also need the senior executives, anyone in positions of authority, to reinforce that the organization has the expectation that people will operate within this context, within this cultural and values context. And sometimes written codes of ethics and those kinds of things can be very helpful in creating that kind of environment where people feel as though they, um, they are expected to operate under those kinds of, um, of, of approaches. Um, that's sort of setting the expectations, but you also want them there to be reinforcement after the fact. So in evaluations, has the behavior been ethical? Somebody that, is, that does something that's negative, um, that, that does, they treat one of their employees or a customer or, an, or a supplier or something with disrespect, or they have an unethical behavior, they maybe uh, take a trip on somebody, on one of their customers, uh, dime where they're not supposed to. There's some discipline associated with it, either in a performance review or not. And you want other people to reinforce the value system among their peers as well. This can be quite difficult, so you want to make sure, you know, people don't want to tell on their friends or whatever. Sometimes they say the organization, you know, they're kind of out of step or whatever. So you want, you want to create an environment where people feel that they're protective of their culture, and so they want other people to conform to it so that it doesn't lose its characteristic nature. And so you have some sense where people really not only pressure but also um, want to uh, have people that aren't conforming uh, confronted and that those situations are dealt with. And one of the ways you do that is you sometimes have ceremonial things where heroes are rewarded for doing things like you might somebody might go out of their way with a customer, you have a reward for that, uh, things like that. Um, that makes sure the organization continues to inform, continues to conform in reality, not just in words, but in actions, is celebrating success, uh, is making sure they reward people that do these kinds of cultural behaviors and also have enforcement processes uh, when they don't. This, this can be quite a challenge. It's not necessarily top of mind for managers who are often very results oriented. They just want to get the product out there. But you can never forget that the people that work in an organization are really what drive it forward. And you have to spend a lot of energy and time and a lot of emotion and empathy in making people feel like they're in an environment where what they say is important. And they're expected to conform. They want to conform because they like where they are and they want to make it better, and they want it to succeed going forward. That's the essence of promoting an effective organization, promoting the effective um, corporate culture. We'll continue our discussion about what makes good corporate cultures, not so good corporate cultures, and all of those things um, in our next series of videos. See you then.